Hello, in this video I'm going to show how you can use Inset Outset Halo in Inkscape to thicken a font that's a little bit too thin. Shown here is Edwardian script shown exactly as it was typed. And we can see we've got some areas that are just a little bit too thin and I know many of us who own cutters find the perfect font but like this one there's little areas that you know just won't cut out properly. And here's two examples showing how it looks when it's made a bit thicker. I'm just going to delete everything and just type a word. So let's just write the name of the font again. You can see I've just typed that. I don't have to do much work to it if I want it to cut out in one piece. It's just this T. So I'm just going to put the cursor in between the two and hold down the Alt key and use the arrow keys and move it left. Now for inset, outset, halo to work, this must be an object. So what I'm going to do is go path, union. All I have to do now is go extensions, generate from path, inset, outset, halo. Now number of steps, I can't make that any smaller, but that doesn't really matter. For width, maximum is 50, but I'm going to keep the number small. I mean, this might be a little bit of trial and error, and it will depend on the font that you're trying to make thicker. It will also depend on just how thick you want it to be. So I might change this to 3 and click on Apply. Now the halo is actually on top of the original. So I'll just move it aside, go Object, Ungroup. You can see down here that the opacity is 20%. I'm going to return that to 100%. So I'm just going to right click and click on 100% opaque. Click onto a blank part of the screen and let's just separate these out. So you can see we've got five. You see this one in the middle here? I'll just change it blue so you can see it. That one is identical to the original. So the original is not needed, you can delete it. I've got two lots of text that have inset and I don't need them. And I've got two that are outset. So I decided that one was too thin. So I can use either one of these. If I'm not happy with that and I actually wanted it thicker, which in this case really don't need it to be thicker, I would just make the width wider here. The width that you enter will really depend on the look you're trying to achieve and the font that you use. But if you find the perfect font and realise it's got sections that are a little bit too thin, you might like to try using Inset Outset Halo because it only takes a few minutes to change it to a nice looking thicker font. If you'd like to see more ideas on how you can create files for your cutter in Inkscape, feel free to visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.